Anything that does not naturally occur in the ocean, that causes harm or is poisonous, is marine pollution. Today, the range of things that are considered marine pollution is on the rise. Most marine pollution is rubbish or chemical and waste runoff that comes from land. Chemicals, particles and waste from industrial and agricultural sources and houses make up 80% of marine pollution. One of the biggest sources of marine pollution is plastic. Now not all plastics are small when they enter the ocean. The sun's UV rays help break down larger plastics. During this process, chemicals leak into the environment. As they degrade, large plastics become microplastics like you see here, which are broken down plastic particles that are five millimeters or smaller. Recent studies have now found plastic particles that are even tinier, called nanoplastic. Microplastics are found at the greatest depths in ocean trenches, 11 kilometers down, sited on mountains, in the air, and in our own bodies. They are found in all Earth environments. We still manufacture new products using plastics, while some natural materials have become more scarce and expensive. However, there is good news. People are more aware now than ever before of the impact of plastics on our environment. Some companies are using the plastics problem as an innovative design challenge to create new materials from natural or biodegradable sources to replace the plastic versions. Other businesses are recycling found rubbish back into other plastic products so that they get a second life. Now the best means of prevention is to ensure that the plastic never gets to the ocean from land, to stop it at the source. Community groups and researchers stage targeted cleanup crews to clean beaches and fish waste out of the ocean. More strict policies for industry and agriculture processes help stop or slow excess waste entering waterways. More and improved sustainable products and packaging are becoming available for consumers to choose. Behind me in the water is the museum Seabin. Seabins are mounted to floating docks or wharves in heavily trafficked areas to maximize collection of rubbish. Most rubbish comes from land. Land is the source, so we like to try and stop it before it can work its way into the ocean. You can help keep the ocean and other waterways clean of plastics and other pollution. One of the great drivers of our industry is consumer demand. So demand more sustainable practices by making some choices in your own life. Opt out of single-use plastics, microbeads, and chemical fertilizers. Remember to reduce, reuse, and recycle. And if you can, participate in cleanups in your community.